Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So if you've recently purchased the DJI Mini 3 Pro, or you do plan on purchasing it in the near future, I'm going to show you quickly here how to use the quick transfer feature. Basically the quick transfer features allows you to get the content from the memory card over to something like a smartphone or tablet without having to power on the controller. On top of that it also transfers it at a higher rate of speed. Now for this demonstration I'm going to be using an iPad Pro just because it has a larger screen and it'll be easier to see what I'm doing. But this will work the same whether you're transferring to an iPhone or an Android device. You can follow along the same steps. Now even if you have purchased the Mini 3 kit that comes with the DJI RC with the built-in screen, you can still download the Fly app to your iPhone or iPad to make use of this feature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna power up our Mini 3. At this point, we're just gonna leave the controller powered off. And then what we're gonna do is launch the DJI Fly app. And right away down here at the bottom, you can see it's come up to switch to quick transfer mode. So what we're gonna do is hit switch. It's going to ask us to join the network that the Mini 3 is now broadcasting. So we're now connected. You can see here it shows us the battery percentage of the drone, so we always know how much power is left in it. And we can click on the button that says View Album. Now it's going to show us a list, a thumbnail of basically all the content that we have stored on the memory card. So we can select any one of those files. And then down here in the bottom right hand corner, click the download button. At this point, it's going to ask us where we want to save the photos or videos to. We can save it to the album built into the app, or we can download it to the phone album. And for the most part, that's what I like to do. We also have an option there to remember your preferences so you don't get this dialog box every time. So we'll hit OK. Now it is pretty small, but you can see that it is transferring. If we go back to the main screen, you can see we get a progress bar here at the top and it shows us our transfer speed. With this quick transfer, you can get speeds of up to 25 megabits per second. And as you can see there, I'm sitting right around that speed. Now you could get slower speeds depending on interference and how far away the drone is from the device. So that's basically it. It's very simple to do. Now, a couple things to note, the DJI RC does not support quick transfer. And for the most part, that's okay because you're not really going to want to transfer content from your drone over to your controller anyways. But one thing to note, if you're flying the Mini 3 with the RCN1 and you have your smartphone connected to it, you can still make use of that quick feature while you have the controller powered on. You're just going to launch your album and what you're going to see is a lightning bolt icon up here in the top right hand side. All you have to do is click on that. Once you enable that feature, you can now transfer all your content over to the smartphone, turn it off when you're done, and you can continue flying. Well folks, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you found it had value. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.